Hey, Peter Beatty here. Welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week, we're going to, to be talking all about how to develop the mindset of a lion and how to design your ultimate dream life and then design a plan to actually bring that dream life into reality. Now, before you click away from this video or dismiss this as some type of, you know, motivational stuff that doesn't work, motivational mindset stuff, Tony Robbins stuff. You know, some people get freaked out by that stuff and overlook it. But I tell you, don't dismiss the topic of this week's video. Give me a hundred successful people and a hundred losers. And I would bet everything that I have that those 100 winners have their mindset on point. They've sat down, they've figured out what they want out of life, and they've, they are consistently uh, developing a plan to get what they want, you know, tweaking that plan and improving on it every single month, every single quarter, every single year. Give me 100 losers and I would guarantee that they don't know what the heck they want, they don't have a plan, and their mindset is full of negativity. So this really is the stuff that is gonna get you where you want to be. So let's go ahead and get back to the office into a more quiet environment and we can get into this topic in full detail. Okay, so we're back in the office, nice quiet environment where we can talk about this in much more detail. Like I was saying before, this is what really separates the people who get shit done, the people who get the things that they want out of life and the people who honestly don't do anything. You know, you could call them losers, you could call them people who don't take action, you know, whatever the case. It's, this is really the, the, the main thing, aside from actually taking action and having the knowledge on what, on how to actually get what you want. This is the thing that you must nail down first. If you don't wanna be one of those people that just constantly is, is, is dreaming, you know, oh, I wanna be, I wanna be a millionaire someday. I want to, uh, have my dream home someday. I want to meet, you know, the, the love of my life. I want to have a successful business. I want to travel the world. You know, you know, this is how you separate yourself from someone who just says that and never actually gets it and despises successful people. And, you know, someone who actually says what they want and goes out, goes out there and gets it. So this is exactly how to get the life that you want, how to actually design your dream life. Now, like I said in the car, you know, some people may see this video and, you know, think it's, you know, some crazy mindset thing and they're just going to ignore it. You know, something, they're going to think it's something like the secret or the law of attraction or something like that. And they're going to skip over this. But the people who actually listen to this advice take action on it. It may take a year or so for you to actually realize that, hey, I'm glad I did this. This actually works. So what I'm talking about here, it's, it's nothing complicated at all. All I mean is becoming very, very specific with what you want. So number one, and this is going to sound similar to another video. And by the way, if I do any typos during one of these videos, just ignore it. You know, I sometimes do that when I'm recording a video. I, I don't know why. If I do, just ignore it, but you, you get what I'm saying. Get specific with what you want. And I don't mean like, oh, I want a successful business. Uh, I want six pack abs or, or whatever. What I mean is you need to actually sit down and think about where, you know, what would your life look like one year from now? What would actually have to happen and change in your life for you to consider it a success? So I first learned about this from a uh, famous marketer, and consultant Frank Kern. I first learned about it in like 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. And at that point in my life, you know, I had recently just started my business, uh, but other areas of my life, you know, they were not going that well. I was in a, a relationship that I, that I didn't like. I was with someone who I didn't like at all. Um, you know, the house I lived in was terrible. It was, it was a small two bedroom ranch in like the country and that the windows in the house were so old that in the winter frost would actually leak in through the cracks of the windows and the doors because they needed to be updated this is this is a true story um and i just wasn't happy in other areas of my life although my business had just started and you know was starting to build up i still hadn't really got far enough where i could kind of upgrade my lifestyle so there were some things that I really need to sit down and think about, you know, what do I actually want out of my life? And I saw this video by Frank Kern. I don't remember 
what he called it, but it was like a, a live presentation he did uh, at some conference. And he, uh, he basically walked you through an exercise. If you could look back a year from now, think back on your life and uh, you know, see that it was a success, what would have to happen? And he had me, well, he, he told the audience to basically uh, write down exactly what your day would look like in this new life. That means what, where would you actually wake up in the morning, okay? Who would you actually wake up next to? What would you actually be thinking when you woke up in bed? What time would you get out of bed? Okay, what would you do when you get out of bed? Would you go downstairs, eat breakfast? Would you go take a shower? Would you go work out? You know, who would you do these things with? What would your environment look like? What would your house look like? What would your, you know, what would you actually be doing on a daily basis? And I actually did this exercise. And at the time, like I said, I was living in this two bedroom ranch and I was with someone who I did not like. And I wrote in this document, I wish I could find it. I could not find it. I tried looking for it. Um, but I wrote down, you know, oh, I live in a, uh, a colonial style house, which is what we live in now. Okay. Um, I work from home with my, I actually called her dream girl at the time. I didn't have a name for her. I said, I work from home with my girlfriend or, or wife and we work together. We wake up, you know, we go work out and then we, you know, sometimes we may do something fun. We may go ride motorcycles together. And then eventually we end up working together in the, in the house and, you know, that's, that's our life. And we hang out with our friends when we want to, we do the things we want to do. And the business is obviously making six figures per year. This is what I wrote down at that time. And what that did is it kind of forced my subconscious mind to basically execute a plan for, for achieving that. So it may, it took me probably two to three years to get that lifestyle, but it actually came true. I mean, uh, I actually met the, the girl that I'm with now in, in the end of 2012. We moved out of that small house together uh, about a year or two after we met. And we moved into uh, a bigger house, okay? And, you know, that actually became my reality. You know, she started working for me. She became my assistant and we started working together. And that life that I described back in 2010, 2011 on that Word document, uh, is pretty close to the life I have now. At that point in time, I wanted a Lamborghini. Uh, I can't remember if I actually put that in the plan, but at that point in time, I knew I wanted a Lamborghini Gallardo. I could not afford one at the time, but you know, fast forward to 2014, I actually bought one. You know, so this is what I'm telling you to do. You need to sit down and get very specific about what your life would look like one year. Okay, one year from today, and. When I say get specific, I mean really drill down. This this exercise may take you all day to do. It may take you all weekend to do, but I highly recommend you do it. Describe what your morning looks like. Like I said, the thoughts you're thinking when you wake up. Who are you waking up next to? What do you do after you get out of bed? You go eat breakfast in your kitchen. Great. What does the kitchen look like? What are you doing while you're eating breakfast? Are you looking out no, are you looking out your kitchen window into a nice open field or are you living in the city in an apartment? And you're looking over, you know, the New York skyline. You know, what, what is it that your kitchen would look like when you're looking out the window? That's what you need to do. Get specific and write it down. So again, this stuff is going to seem really simple, but you'd be surprised at how many people just don't do this. And the act of writing it down is what really brings it out of your head and puts it into the universe. It doesn't matter if you're doing it on the computer or on a pad of paper. Okay. Uh, it, you have to get it out of your head and you have to write it down. Um, now that's the first step. Okay. But before I, I tell you the next step, I want to show you this drawing right here. You see this drawing right here? I don't know how well you can see it. Um, so I made, I made this sketch, uh, when right after I moved out of that small two bedroom ranch, we were renting a house uh, for like a year before we decided to build the house that we wanted. Well, while we were living in the house that we were renting, I sat down and I was like, all right, well, what would my new house look like? And I got really specific. And I you know, I drew like a colonial with an attached garage. You know, I have my Lambo parked in the underground garage there. And that's, that's the kind of house that I envisioned having. Now, the house I have now is not exactly like this, but it's pretty damn similar. It's a, it's a you know, two-story colonial. Uh, we've got an attached garage. I parked the Lambo in it. It's not an underground garage, but hey, th 
this is the, this is pretty similar to the house we have now. And at this point in time, you know, I didn't have any idea that, you know, exactly what the house was going to look like. We actually ended up building one exactly like we wanted. So, so that's what you need to do. If it helps you to sketch images like that, then do it. So the second part is you have to actually move away from the dreaming side, I guess you could say. Most people don't make it. Most people don't even get specific with what they want, right? They don't even think about it. They just, they just think they want a better life or they want a successful business or they want to lose weight, whatever. And most people don't even get to this first step to get specific about what they want and write it down. But even less people, even fewer people make it to this next step. And that is to uh, make a plan on how you are going to get it. And this is where math starts to work in your favor. And again, this is something else I learned from Frank Kern uh, with that speech that he did. He said, every income goal that you have can basically be engineered with simple math. Example, you want to make 10 grand a month? Great. That can be predictably created with online advertising, right? You need uh, a certain amount of clicks on your ad. You need a certain opt-in rate. When people click over to your opt-in page, you need a certain amount of those clicks, a certain percentage of those clicks to convert into leads, all right? And then you have a, a paid offer after that. Well, you need a certain number of those leads to actually convert into customers, okay, at a certain price point. So that's how you can basically engineer uh, a lifestyle and income. So figure out, you know, this dream life, figure out what it's going to cost to actually afford it. Do you need to make 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month, 50 grand a month, 100 grand a month, 200 grand a month? What, what amount of money do you actually need to make on a monthly basis to afford this lifestyle that you want. And by the way, when I, when you start designing this lifestyle, don't hold back. Like don't go crazy and go and, and write down something that is obviously not possible. Like you're not going to be the next Steve Jobs in one year. You're not going to be the next Bill Gates. You're probably not going to be a millionaire one year from now, unless you're pretty damn close already. But can you go from, you know, zero to a hundred grand a year in a year? Of course you can. That's easily doable. Um, so, you know, when you're making this goal, don't be, don't hold back. Like if you think you can achieve something in a year, you've seen other people do it, then make it part of your plan and then figure out the income needed to actually get it and then make a plan. Well, I need to start a business. What kind of business? What am I good at? Uh, what, uh, you know, I know a lot about this niche over here. How can I solve a problem in this niche? in a different way than everyone else? And how can I develop a marketing plan and a funnel to actually deliver my product or service to the people in that niche, provide a whole bunch of value to them and obviously get paid in the process. Okay, so develop your business plan and then actually drill it down to, you know, an exact plan. I need this many ad impressions. I need this many clicks on my ad. I need this opt-in rate, okay? I need this amount of my leads to actually turn into sales at this price point. And that's what will engineer my income. So let's say you're shooting for 10 grand a month. Okay. Let's see if we can break this down. So 10 grand per month. Let's say that you sell, let's keep it really simple here. And let's say that you sell a thousand dollar product. Now you don't have to sell a $1,000 product. You can sell a $97 product. You can sell a $297 product. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing this to keep the math really, really simple for me. So let's say you need to make $10,000 a month to afford your lifestyle. So that means you need to make 10 sales a month. So 10 sales at $1,000. Okay. So you need 10 sales a month at $1,000 to hit 10,000 per month. Now let's say that you get a 1% conversion rate on your sales page. So, you know, 10 is 1% of what? 1,000, right? So that means you need 1,000 visitors to your sales page or 1,000 leads, okay? So you need 1,000 leads per month, okay? 1,000 leads per month, that means 1,000 leads see your sales page, 1% or 10 of them actually buy your $1,000 product to get you to that 10,000. Then you can even go even further. Well, how are you gonna get those 1,000 leads? Let's say your opt-in page has a 20% opt-in rate. Well, 1,000 is 20% of what? I had to think there for a minute. It's actually 5,000 5, clicks. 
So just like that, we've engineered a business plan, you know, just like that. And like I said, this price can be anything, right? But if you need to get to that amount, it's just as simple as breaking it down like that. So now you know the exact steps that you need to take to get to this goal up here. Well, I need an offer to sell for a thousand bucks, a hundred bucks, whatever. Well, I need to make this many sales every month to generate this income. Well, in order to make those sales, I need to get generate this many leads or this many visitors to my sales page. In order to get this many leads or this many visitors to my sales page, I need to get this many clicks per month, right? Because, you know, using industry standard conversion rates and opt-in rates, this stuff is easily predictable. So, so that's exactly how you do it. Um, this is how you actually get what you want. I've been using this same strategy for years now. And uh, it's helpful if you do it every year. In fact, it's good if you can make a plan every year and then revisit that plan every quarter. So your plan that you make right now, as you start implementing it, your, your goals may change three months from now. And it's okay for them to change but you have to come back to this original plan and update it. So what I do is I make a plan at the beginning of the year or the end of the year, and then every quarter I revisit it. I'm like, all right, am I on track to get this goal right here? Do I actually still want this goal? Is there anything that I want to add to it or remove or change? Okay, great. So uh, am I actually doing the work? Am I actually progressing towards those goals, right? Am I actually hitting my sales numbers here? Am I crushing them or am I behind? What can I do to improve it? So I know that sounds really simple, but again, you're, you're going to be surprised. Well, you would be surprised to find out that most people don't do this shit. They just don't. They just think, I want, I want to make a lot of money. I want a successful business. I want to make 10 grand a month. And they have no freaking clue how they're going to make it. They have no idea how they're going to actually get there. When I learned about this, this was game changing for me. So I highly recommend you do this, uh, immediately if you're not where you want to be. Do this right now. Spend the rest of your night, uh, spend the rest of your weekend, you know, work on it throughout the next week in your spare time. Do whatever you need to do to do this exercise. So just to recap, figure out exactly what you want your life to look like one year from now. Get very specific, and I'm talking down to what you're eating for breakfast, who you're eating it with, what you're thinking in the morning, and what your average day would look like, okay? I want you to write it down, get very specific, and then I want you to develop a plan using simple math, okay, to actually engineer a, a vehicle, a business to get you there, and then take action on it. That's the last thing. You have to take action, right? You cannot actually get any of this stuff unless you actually take action. So, so there you go. This is exactly how to get the life that you want, exactly what you need to do to get it. It may sound simple, but promise me, if you don't overlook this as being something simple, then you will see a profound effect on your life. I, I will bet money on it. Look back on this list one, two years from now, and you will get you will get chills up your arm when you look back on this list and you find out, wow, I actually, I this stuff actually came true, okay? And it doesn't get old, trust me. So. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you've liked this content, please hit the like button for me. It lets me know that you like these videos I'm producing for you. Uh, subscribe if you're new here for more videos just like this. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, do you, have you tried this before? Is there anything that you are lacking in? Is there, have you tried this before and have seen results? You know, just let me know what you think so I know what type of videos you want to see from me in the future. And lastly, you can head on over to my website at yourepiclaunch.com. That's where I have more videos just like this for you to check out. All right, I'll talk to you soon. I'm Peter Beatty, and I'll see you in the next video.